To the latest in the Karen Reed case now, findings from a federal probe revealed in court today as, Ray, as Reed's lawyers pushed to have her murder charge dismissed. Reed is accused of striking her Boston police officer boyfriend, John O'Keefe, with her SUV in Canton. Investigative reporter Ted Daniel had a front row seat at today's hearing. And Ted, you got a lot to go through here. Yeah, this was a big day, Mark. Reed's lawyers say the federal probe found a number of inconsistencies and conflicts that damaged the integrity of the state investigation from connections police officers have to prosecution witnesses to the injuries that took John O'Keefe's life. For more than two years, prosecutors have said Karen Reed hit John O'Keefe with her Lexus SUV after a night of heavy drinking. Reed's attorney, Alan Jackson, says a crash expert hired by the FBI determined this. His injuries were inconsistent with the damage on the car. In other words, the car didn't hit him and he wasn't hit by the car. The defense claims O'Keefe was beaten and attacked by a dog inside the home of another Boston police officer named Brian Albert. And they allege state police detective Michael Proctor helped in a cover-up. According to Jackson, texts reveal one of Albert's family members offered to buy Proctor a gift when the case is over. Michael Proctor didn't respond with, that's inappropriate. What he did do is he responded, get Elizabeth one. Jackson says prosecutors never told the state grand jury that indicted Reed that Jennifer McCabe, one of the state's witnesses, Googled how long to die in cold. He says the FBI has concluded the search was run at 2.27 a.m. Prosecutor Adam Lally says other experts have determined the search happened hours later, immediately after O'Keefe's body was found. There was no fight. There was no dog attack. There was no eyewitness to the circumstances that led to Mr. O'Keefe's death. Lally says the federal investigation found no indication of a cover-up or that O'Keefe even entered the Albert home. He equates the defense strategy to a sleight-of-hand card trick. 42 separate witnesses, 56 exhibits, over 1,400 pages of transcript, which clearly demonstrate and indicate that the defendant, Karen Reed, killed John O'Keefe. But they don't want you to look at that. They want you to look at who texted who when and what they said and what was asked and what was promised. All right, so where do we go from here? Defense attorney Alan Jackson tells me he plans to introduce more evidence from the federal investigation. Once all those filings are in, the judge is going to decide if this case will go to trial. Right now, the trial is scheduled to begin next month. I'm Ted Daniel for your local station, Boston 25 News. Ted, thank